type conversion in Python. Hi, Emma. Hi, Liam. Do you remember the data types? Sure. There are strings, integers, floating point, and so on in data types. That's right. What happens when you add the string hello and the number 100? Do you mean adding strings and numbers? I can't calculate it in Python because the data types are different. That's right. We can't add up strings and numbers. So, can you add the number 15 to the string 100? Because of the different data types, I can't actually add strings and numbers together. How can I calculate it? You can calculate it by converting the character string 100 to the number 100. How do I change the data type? Data Type Conversion in Python When you want to convert the data, use the command to convert the data. That's useful. What types of commands are available to convert data? int function converts string to integer. float function converts string to floating point number. str function converts integer and floating point number to string. We can use these commands to convert the data. Exactly. First, let's try adding the string 100 to the integer 15. Create a new file in idle and write the code like this. Save and then run it. Then an error is displayed. It is not possible to calculate with string and integer. We need to convert the string to the integer before we can calculate it. That's right. So we use int function to convert the string to an integer and then calculate it. Create a new file in idle and write the code like this. Save and then run it. Now we've done the math. We were able to calculate it by converting the string type 100 to a number 100. Exactly. How to check if it can be converted. Can we check if we can convert in advance to avoid errors? We can prevent such errors by checking in advance when they are likely to occur. We can use the isDigit function to check if the variable can be converted to a number correctly. True is displayed when conversion is possible, and false is displayed when conversion is not possible. If we check beforehand and convert only when true is displayed, there will be no error. That's right. Let's try it out and see if we can convert the strings 100 and hello. Create a new file in idle and write the code like this. Save and then run it. It turns out that the string 100 can be converted to an integer and the string hello cannot be converted. That's right. In this lesson, we learned about data type conversions. Well done.